We are in Sarpy County Court as a judge sentences his former soccer coach to prison. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. 48-year-old Kyle Merrick pleaded no contest to account of attempted child enticement. We recently talked with the victim. Her family hopes today's sentencing brings more attention to the dangers of digital grooming. KETV Newswatch 7's Joey Safchik is live with more of their reaction tonight. Joey. Rob, Julie, the family says today justice was served. It's nowhere near the maximum 50-year sentence, but Merrick's attorney says five to eight years is way more than he anticipated. And Grace, the victim turned advocate, is very pleased. She hopes seeing Merrick behind bars will deter other online predators. I will not ever be the same. This affected me for my whole life. Tears of overwhelming relief outside the Sarpy County courtroom, where Kyle Merrick was sentenced to five to eight years behind bars. I feel relieved and excited that what I wanted happened, but there's still a lot of work to do for other girls. Work that 15-year-old Grace Corrigan hopes will lead to Lincoln. Grace and her mom Katie are helping pen a bill that would make digital grooming illegal. We all need to stand together to protect her children and my daughter stands now for, for everybody else. Merrick was Grace's soccer coach at Gretna Elite Academy. He spent years forging a friendship with her off the field, sharing pictures like these on Snapchat. It's not just, oh, that's just him. He, oops, he made a mistake. That's, it's way more than that. He was explicitly sexual, too. Prosecutors told the judge Merrick called Grace his, quote, hot, sexy favorite. She spoke up before it turned physical. It's just gut-wrenching that that's, that's your, your child. Merrick's attorney, Steve Leffler, feels the punishment is too extreme for the crime. I told my client that I thought maybe you might end up with 90 days, 120 days up front, work release, house arrest, and then a few years probation. But the judge decided differently. A captain on the field now leading a legislative drive. Grace says the game will be won when every girl who speaks up is protected from online predators. Speaking out like really is worth it and this shows that just if you just stand up and be brave that it's all worth it. The plan is to bring the bill to the Capitol during the next legislative session. That's in January. Grace hopes the ruling today will keep the momentum going. Reporting live in Sarpy County, Joey Safchik, KETV Newswatch 7.